Concordia, if you're fucking alive right now, say hell yeah! That's what we like to hear. Wait, give me your mic back. Give us one moment here. Sorry, that song was rough. I had to put the mic What's up, everyone? I'm Rowan. I play bass. Hey, I'm Nick. I play guitar. Hi, my name's Cade Witt, and I sing and I uh, play guitar. I'm Kogan, and I play drums. Yeah. All right. You are now listening to Manifest West. <laughs> All right, we're with Manifest Wes. How are you guys feeling about the show? We're a little bit nervy, but uh, I think we're ready to tear the house down. Yeah, we're coming with a lot of new songs, a lot of new covers, and, you know, originals that have only been played a few times, so. But I think we got it. I think we got to unlock. We're ready. Our long set, you know, our longest set yet, and I think we're going to tear it down tonight. So Manifest West started when me and Nick were uh, hanging out in my room one day and started doing music together and we said, hey, you know, we should do a, a duo together. And so we ended up uh, conceiving a name and then slowly but surely we met this guy and then we met a bassist and uh, we just started making it happen. The bassist is not the one that we have now, but we ended up finding a, a replacement who certainly fits the band well. So we're, <laughs> we're really glad to be doing this. So Wright Street came about, uh, it was recorded in my home studio, um, and it just, it kind of came about over time. Uh, I-72 was done a while ago, same with It Seems You Found the Door, uh, but all the remainders were recorded like in the last like six months, um, and it, it really just started with like concepts that me and Nick had, and then we brought them to, to Kogan, and Kogan put down his drums on it, and yeah, that's how it came to be. Uh, I would say my favorite song is Seasons. I think mine is Cowboy Blues, just because we, we wrote that song in 45 minutes, <laughs> and like that was like our first time in the studio like truly being like a creative force, and a great song came out of it, so yeah. Very true. I say I-72 selfishly because I'm a bass player, and I get a sick-ass bass line at the like, instrumental outro of that song, so I can't lie, I-72. I would say uh, my favorite from the EP would have to be Glasses. Uh, I think that's just a good one. Yeah, um, we try to let our diverse influences shine through. So we have influences from all kinds of genres. Uh, but I know for me and Rowan in particular, we're, we're big Blink-182 heads. Um, I think they might be done. Uh, me and Rowan in particular are big Blink-182 heads. Uh, we, gotta go. we might gotta go. Do we? Death Cab for Cutie! Yeah, we're not going to go, Doug. Oh, shit. Oh, God, dude. Yeah, oh, well. we're going to have to go. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. Post show interview. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. All right. All right, guys. Hey, before we get started here, can we get a big old fucking yee haw from y'all? Yee haw! Oh, what a bunch of beats. That's just
after the show.